Hello, today we'll be doing lesson 8.1, areas of rectangles and parallelograms. So, we have two rectangles here. And we got to know when we're solving for areas, that you're solving for the interior of the shape. So, in order to find that, we need to know that, that this here is our height. And that this here is our base. Same thing with here. This will be your base, and this will be your height. So now knowing that, I would like you to solve this conjecture up here. The formula you should have gotten was area equals base times height. So here you have your first example. You got to plug in your formula, which you know is now area equals base times height. So you now want to plug in for what you know, your base being 8. And your height being 4. So R equals 8 times 4, which is 32. Now when you're solving for area, you got to know that it's, if you don't know if like this is inches, meters, or whatever, ew, it's going to be units. And your answer is always going to be squared. So here you have area equals 32 units squared. Here we have example 2. So in order to solve this one, we'd like to split the, we'd need to split this up into different shapes. So here we have our rectangle in the center and our two triangles. So we gotta find out our height for our rectangle here is one, two, three, four, four. And then our base we need to find out which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we know that our base is eight and our height is four. And now what we'd also need to know is the base and the height of our triangle because we know that our formula for a rectangle, I mean for a triangle, is area equals one half base times height. And we also know that our area for our rectangle is area equals base times height. So this is for triangle and this is for your rectangles. So Again, we're going to see that we know that our bases for our, for our triangles are 8 because it's the same as our base for our rectangle. It's going to be 8 here and an 8 here. We don't know our height though. So what we need to find out our height. So right here you see how it comes perfectly. It makes a nice little right triangle. We, need to, we can count our height. 1, 2, 3. For our height here, and for here, you can do it, split it right here, get our height, which is 1, 2. So now we plug in for what we know. The, what we know. So, we would like to solve, I'd like to solve, personally, I like to solve for the triangles first. So we have area equals 1 half base times height. So we know our base is 8 and our height is 3 times 1 half. So again, this is for this triangle up here. So we would get 24 times 1 half. And our area for the top triangle will be 12. So, now since we solved the top triangle, we need to solve for the bottom triangle, which is, we know our formula is area equals base times, one half base times height. So, for the bottom triangle, it would be area equals one half your base, which is eight, and your height, which is two. So, we'd get one half times 16. 
half of 16 is 8. So now we have to solve for our rectangle, which is area equals 1 half base times height. So plug it in, what we know, area equals base, which is 8, and your height, which is 4, and you get 32. So to show what this looks like, inside here is a 32. That's all these little rectangles put together, 32 of them. And then for this triangle, the top one, you have 12. And for the bottom one, you have 8. So now we have to add them all up. Your 12, your 32, and your 8. And we will add. So for 8, 12, 52. Now remember this is area again, so you it's units squared. So your final answer is 52 units squared. Now it's your turn. I'd like you to pause the video and solve this one on your own. And play when you are done. The answer you should have gotten was area equals 182 meters squared. Remember, never forget your squared. So to solve this, you need to know that you can split the shape here. And we realize that we don't know this space here, but we know that this is 11 and this is 21. So we can split them up to find out how much this one is, like how long this space is. So having 11 here to keep it the same, and knowing that what's remainder is 10, the remainder is 10, you still get 21, so it's still the same, so it's okay. And so now you solve like a normal rectangle. Now you just have two rectangles that you're putting together. So you have area equals base times height. Your for the first rectangle, let's say we're doing this one, we will plug in your base, which is 11, times your height, which is 12. You should get 132. And again, for this rectangle over here, this one, you solve, get area equals your base, which is 10 for this one, times your height, which is 5. And you should get 50. And you should you add them together. Which is 182. And your final answer should be area equals 182 meters squared.